Hello everybody, uh, I'm Hasib Akhtar from Ericsson. Uh, we're going to talk about the virtualized RAN deployment on Airship-based container cloud. Hello, good morning everybody. My name is Bing Hu, I work for AT&T, and uh, today I represent the uh, Airship community and the Airship projects. Next slide, please. So what is the Airship? So Airship is a platform for the uh, lifecycle management of open infrastructure. And the Airship is designed from the ground up to make the container and the home chart based the, uh, uh, as a fundamental units for software delivery and the software deployment, right? And so the question will be, how does Airship work? And so basically, at first, you, will have, you need to have the home chart, uh, uh, the YAML files that defines the size, the, the cloud the infrastructure size. And so the site definition will be represented in the declarative, the uh, YAML files, and it will be sent to the uh, Airship through the single front door, the APIs. And that will be represented on the, uh, in the middle part of the Airship, the uh, different components. We can see. And the Airship get the YAML files and process those YAML files, and all the components will be able yeah. The second, the middle part, yeah. So um, we'll be able to process that and to drive the provisioning and of the different sides, for example, from the uh, bare metal to the networking to the policy side, and eventually to have a full functioning uh, the cloud. And the right hand side, the, ch the chart de uh, uh, depicts the uh, uh, upgrading of the sites. And basically, it's as simple as you just edit the uh, one or more of the YAMLs in the Git repository, right? And send the same uh, modified YAML and to the uh, uh, Airship through the same uh, uh, front-end APIs interface. And, all, and then all the Airship uh, opens at home and uh, um, the Kubernetes will do the exact same process and to upgrade the, uh, 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 the site to the end state. That's designed. Next slide, please. Um, so the history of Airship is, uh, let's hear a little bit of history. So you can see in the first step, an Airship started as OpenStack home projects and which will be used and as a core part of the Airship in order to deploy the, the chart based the uh, different software artifacts and components. And uh, after the uh, OpenStack itself is running as a chart based applications, right, and we started uh, to look at the, uh, the declarative platform and initiated uh, the Airship as an upstream uh, community in the GitHub. That's in the uh, first quarter of the 2017. And then in May 2018, and we brought the uh, Airship into OpenStack as a pilot the project supported by OpenStack Foundation. And uh, that was the, uh, in May 2018 in Vancouver Summit. And then in, the, uh, in November 2018, and we um, basically released the Airship, the 1.0, the candidate release. And the last week, uh, Thursday, April 25th, and we officially released the Airship 1.0, and which basically that's the, uh, in the enterprise ready uh, uh, production uh, uh, quality. Next slide, please, yeah. So the uh, features of Airship basically focus on the production, an enterprise ready production service and to empower the 5G, which the um, House City will talk about in, the, in a few minutes. And uh, so for example, it has the enterprise ready security, it has a scalable operations and reliable, the upgrade and it has all the enhanced platform features, deployment and tooling that's been included in the Airship, the uh, release 1.0. And also we improved the resiliency and the continuous integration will be in a kind of very smooth way and through the uh, uh, treasure map project. And we have finally, we have very expanded um, the rich documentations. So, Kasip, my colleague, will talk about the, uh, how to uh, run the uh, RAN, the Power BNF, on top of the Airship deployment. <coughs> Hi. Uh, yes, so what I wanted to discuss is the higher layer split architecture of 5G RAN, and what does it enable us in terms of the virtualization and cloudification. So let's start with the present state today. So what we have in a very simpler form in 4G RAN, we have a baseband unit and a remote radio unit. Those are the two components of a RAN. And on the, on the left side, the mobiles will communicate with the RRUs. And on the right side, we have the packet core. So that's kind of a very simplistic form of how RAN is, is architected today. So what they have done in, five, in 3GPP is they have taken the layer four and above from the, four, from the baseband unit and then re-architected into two parts. One is called central unit and one is called distributed in unit. So those are the two aspects and the central unit is now have the enough delay requirements or fulfills enough RAN requirements so that it can be 
put into some sort of distributed cloud. So in today's architecture, the, the, the hardware is usually the customized hardware because of the latency and the processing requirement of the RAM. And moving forward, in the central unit, there are two components, which is central unit user plane. You know, it's simple. The user plane runs through it, and the central unit control plane, which is basically for the call setup and session setup related aspects. So, so those two are the, the, the key components that have been moved you know, out of the basement unit and can now be de deployed in a distributed cloud, such as OpenStack, Kubernetes, and so forth. And what we have done in our demo is basically we have taken the, oh, oh, oh. Yeah, so what we have done is we have taken the, the CUUP, as you can see on the left side, and as Bin said, we have used the airship to uh, deploy the OpenStack on a Kubernetes container using the Helm chart and all the good things that he described. And then we deployed, or we're running the VCUP on that, that OpenStack cloud. We also have two other components, the, the, the service discovery and a VNF, a VNF manager. So those two are basically management aspects. They're not used on the, on the runtime, or I mean, they're used not on the, on the user plane. Uh, they're, they're basically management aspects of the, of the system. And then we also have done a traffic generator which will simulate the remote radio unit and the, the packet core so that we can run some traffic to see how the CUUP is working. And on the right side of the, of the chart, what we have is an evolution view of how 4G, today's 4G network will slowly move towards the HLS or the higher layer split architecture. And it also shows uh, different options in 3GPP where you, know, you have the core, uh, the, the 5G ready, the 4G packet core, and also the full-fledged full 5G core that can be connected together, and also how 4G and 5G can kind of stay integrated within the higher layer split. But that's, you know, you can, um, uh, we can discuss that on a separate uh, topic later on, but today that's what we're trying to focus on. So let's go to the demo. So in the first part, what you're going to see is the Genesis root directory of the airship. And what we're going to show that we have deployed uh, OpenStack. And so, yeah. Oh, sorry. Is it running? Yeah, so going back to that, so it, it's, it has deployed the, the OpenStack, which is coming next. So this showed all the OpenStack component has been deployed. And now we're going to the OpenStack dashboard to sh see that uh, the applications, which are the VCUUP and the VAS, the, the service discovery and the RAN FM, the BNF manager, if they have been deployed. So that's what we're looking at. I'm not going to try to stop it again. I wanted to pause this. But what you see on the right side, you have those applications that has been deployed. Now we're going to the, to the Grafana uh, dashboard, what we're going to show, that we are pushing data between the, the CUUP and the traffic generator, which again simulates the RRU and the the core network. So as you can see that those blue lines are showing the interfaces that we are sending data on and, and those are basically using simulation, uh, simulated uh, you know, EPC and the, and the RAN and we're sending the data through it. And those are some of the KPIs and the counters that we're looking into. So now we have started to push data. As you will see that data will start to come about. Uh, by the green dots that will start to appear. Uh, so now basically the data has been all sent and, and if you can see on the left side is our CUUP and on the right side is the traffic generator. So the data has been transferred and there has not been any packet loss. So this demo is live actually. 
in our booth right next to the 5G lounge. So please come by and you can just uh, take a look at that. And if you have not visited the 5G lounge, please come by that as well. We have some cool stuff there for you. You can actually experience 5G there. So 5G lounge and our demo booth, just come by to see the rest of it. Great. Thank yeah. you, Ben, and thank, thank you, everybody. You. Appreciate thank it. Thank you, everybody.